hey, unemployed Albertans, do you know how Toronto banksters talk about you when you're not around? Liberal Party insiders, you know, the masters of the universe, bankers, economists, the guys who make millions of dollars for just knowing all the right people. Here, uh, take a look at this video. It, it's from a recent conference in Toronto hosted by the Global Risk Institute about housing prices and the economy. Now, the, the CEO of the Global Risk Institute, the host of the conference, is named Richard Nesbitt, the guy on the screen right now. He's a former senior executive of the Canadian Imperial Bank of Commerce. He was the bank's chief operating officer until 2014. Real big shot. He made $7.5 million a year at that job. Lots of that money coming from clients in Alberta, oil men, farmers, ranchers. Now, Nesbitt is not with the bank anymore. He's got this new gig at the Global Risk Institute. For some reason, his official biography boasts that he has not one, not two, but three homes, including one in Florida and a hobby farm. Who puts that in their biography? Well, a smug banker like Nesbitt. It's not enough for you to know that he's doing well. He wants you to know that he's doing better than you are. Now, Albertans and those who care about the dignity of any Canadian, especially unemployed Canadians, I want you to just watch this man talk about you. Just to set up this clip, Nesbitt is saying that the unemployment in Canada is really low. It's great. So the other economist, the thin guy, interjects to say, well, that's actually not true in Alberta. Take a look. When you say that the economy needs uh, 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 stimulation, like, what are you talking about? Like, unemployment's at, uh, like, record lows in the United States. It's not too bad here either, by the way. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, a long time ago, I admit, uh, if we got below 10%, we thought we were doing just great here in Canada in terms of unemployment. We're down in the sixes, right? Yeah, we in are Canada? about 7%, but a lot of it is Alberta. A lot of it's Alberta, that... so who cares about them, yeah. right? <laughs> we'll have to edit that out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Alberta. I mean, who cares about them? Oh, and the laughter, eh? The whole room. Oops, better, better edit that comment out of the video. Better not let people know what we really think, eh? Yeah, well, someone forgot to clean up what the banksters really think. Let's hear that one more time, just the key parts. If we got below 10%, we thought we were doing just great here in Canada in terms of unemployment. We're down in the sixes, right? Yeah, we in are Canada? about 7%, but a lot of it is Alberta. A lot of it's Alberta, that. so who cares about them, yeah. right? <laughs> So who is this laughing bastard? Who is this scoffing man who wants you to know that he has three homes and says, who cares about unemployed Albertans? It's just Alberta. Well, I'll know you'll be shocked to hear this. He's a senior liberal. He and his wife, Lucy Lawler, each paid $5,000 to attend an exclusive liberal cash for access fundraiser. So $10,000 for dinner with the liberals, yeah. Are you surprised that someone's sneering at unemployed Albertans as a liberal? Yeah, me neither. But what gets me is his sneering, the laughing from this man and all of his cronies in the room. If we got below 10%, we thought we were doing just great here in Canada in terms of unemployment. We're down in the sixes, right? Yeah, we are in Canada? About, about 7%, but a lot of it is Alberta. A lot of it's Alberta, so who cares about them, yeah. right? <laughs> They're just Albertans. See, the thing is, Mr. Nesbitt, the 200,000 Albertans out of work right now, they don't have your cushy gig. Like when you retired from the CIBC bank, but they kept paying your salary for more than a year and you made an extra $8.5 million. Now, I understand they wanted to replace you sooner than your retirement date, and so they had to pay you, but, but for doing nothing. See, in Alberta, you'd be called lazy. Well, worse, actually, because it's not lazy people who make $8.5 million for not working. It's someone who has gamed the system in a way that ordinary people can't. You're the guy, Mr. Nesbitt, about whom the word bankster was coined. You wouldn't last a day in the oil patch with your soft hands. But you don't need to do hard work, do you? A after you and your wife gave that 10 grand to the liberals, they returned the favor and appointed you as a director on their Ontario Retirement Pension Plan Administration Corporation, paying you tens of thousands of dollars just to be a director. I understand your job has been to help set up the corporation, but the lawyers do that anyways. And the job doesn't even really begin 
until January 1st of next year when the Ontario Retirement Pension Plan starts to be phased in. Th there is no Ontario Pension Plan yet. But you got a sweet patronage gig already to be the director of a government program that actually hasn't been set up yet, and you took tens of thousands of dollars for it. And like with the bank paying you after you stopped, it, it never even occurred to you to not take money from taxpayers for doing nothing much, did it? See, Mr. Nesbitt, if ordinary people could do that too, there would be no unemployment. If the 200,000 laid off Alberta men and women, if they could get tens of thousands of dollars for sitting on a board of a government corporation that hasn't done much of anything, or, or if they could get millions of dollars from a bank for doing nothing, or even thousands of dollars, they would take it, I guess, maybe not to buy three homes, but maybe to pay the mortgage on their one home and feed their families, but you see, they can't, Mr. Nesbitt, but you did. And I'm not calling you a criminal. As far as I know, you haven't broken any law for getting paid, for doing nothing, but at least have the common sense and moral dignity to shut up about it and stop crowing and laughing about your fellow citizens having a tough time. If we got below 10%, we thought we were doing just great here in Canada in terms of unemployment. We're down in the sixes, right? Yeah, we are Canada? about 7%, but a lot of it is Alberta. A lot of it's Alberta, so who cares about them, yeah. right? <laughs> I think you know you're a disgusting man, Mr. Nesbitt. I think you know your comment was morally grotesque. Or else, why would you have asked someone to delete it for you? I think all of your friends are morally grotesque, too. And by that, I include not only your patronage friends in the Liberal Party, but your fellow banksters in the room, the ones who were laughing with you. Now, I, I know there's nothing we can do about you. You've got your three homes and your money for nothing. You've got your liberal connections. But there's one thing you don't have and you can never buy with all your millions, Mr. Nesbitt, and that is class. You're a greedy man, and that's fine. I mean, it's in your job description, but you laugh at all those who are less successful than you, and, and they're not less successful because of any moral failure on their part, but because of bad luck and bad government policies, including those brought in by your liberal friends. I know you're laughing at just Alberta, but they're better people than you'll ever be, you disgrace. Now, I scrolled through the list of your members, Mr. Nesbitt. You're really connected. You get money from the federal government. You get money from the Ontario government, most of the big banks. They're not going to cut you off. Are you kidding? They were the ones in the room laughing with you. I did find one member of your organization, Farm Credit Canada. They're the biggest lender to Canadian farmers, including to an awful lot of people who were just Albertans. I know their chairman, Dale Johnston, or at least I used to know him when he was a Reform Party MP back in the day. He's from Wetaskiwin, Alberta. That's one of the hardest hit regions in the province oil layoffs, hard times on the farm. Dale Johnson is a bit of a boss now, but I don't think I'd ever call him a bankster. But he is a member of your little club, Mr. Nesbitt. I, I, I wonder what you'd tell Dale Johnston to his face. Is he just an Albertan so you'd laugh at him? I doubt it. Dale's 75 now, but I think if he heard you mocking his people, He'd put a fist in your fat, laughing face. I'm going to write a letter to my old friend, Dale, and tell him to quit your squalid little club. I, I know it won't make a dent in your finances, but it's a moral statement, really. I I'm going to ask all my Alberta friends and all our allies across Canada to sign this petition to get Dale Johnston and Farm Credit to quit your little club of banksters, the Global Risk Institute, or at least take their membership fee and do something useful with it. Like donate it to food banks around Alberta. I know Farm Credit already does that. Now look, I know it's just Alberta, but it's more than you've ever done for this country. Mr. Nesbitt, I I'm not hanging your abusiveness on my old friend Dale. I just think he's the only honest man in your world. The only one who wouldn't have laughed along with you that day. Hey, everybody, let, let's, let's get this letter to Dale before Christmas. Lots of people who are just Albertans have to choose between groceries on the one hand and Christmas gifts for the kids on the other. Let's show them this video, and let's send this video to Farm Credit Canada 
and let's get them to withdraw their membership dues from this little bankster club and donate it instead to hurting Alberta families. So I've got a petition. Go to justalberta.com and sign. Let's see how many signatures we can get this week. And I'll send the whole thing off to my old friend Dale by Christmas. And Mr. Nesbitt, I got another website too. For the rest of your miserable life, richardnesbitt.ca, the website that bears your name, will point to this video and our petition too. So whenever someone Googles your name, they will know what a disgrace of a man you are. My friends, let's try to turn this negative into a positive. Let's get Farm Credit's membership fee out of this man's hands and into the hands of, well, just Albertans. Go to justalberta.com. If you're as mad about this as I am, go to justalberta.com. Let's try and get some positive out of this negative. Thanks.